This is Dan Bjork, an agronomist with Landis, and I'm at the Farnhamville Research Plot. We have 160 acres of one big field laboratory out here. Uh, Brad Sherwin, Dave Lemke, Adam Sleisman have done a fantastic job of setting up these trials and we're looking at biologicals and we're looking at nutritionals and we're looking at stress mitigators and the results from last year showed some really really exciting uh, new products that do help in a dry weather pattern. Are we heading into a 2012 type environment? Some people are saying that. I'm not a meteorologist, I can't tell. But I wanna just talk about a couple things to consider. We'll stage this corn and we'll look at some opportunities and some products that have come out of this research, this field laboratory, that might help you to uh, mitigate some of that stress if we do have that dry weather that is being predicted. And then later on, we'll follow through looking for disease situations and insect uh, situations. I love being a detective in agronomy. I've been doing this for 43 years, going on my 44th year, and absolutely love what I do. Uh, and there's nothing more satisfying than helping a grower avoid the big one. Those are the ones you want to watch out for. You want to watch out for the hybrid that falls down. You want to watch out for uh, that event like tar spot last year that takes a big yield hit. So we're going to be looking for what is, what's the big one this year? There's always something new. And using this field laboratory out here, one way to do it. So stay tuned. Let's talk about growth staging and a couple things we can do to mitigate stress. Let's stage this corn. We start with the first leaf, got around the tip, collar, V1. Uh, second leaf collar v2 and then we've got a third collar here so we're in v v3 corn uh, mostly um, feels pretty clean yet but it's gonna soon be time for post application of herbicide and as we said uh, earlier there are a lot of different things that you can do to try to help mitigate stress many of you are going to be putting your post emergent spray on some have already started over the next couple of weeks, uh, people will finish up. One of the options, and I absolutely love growth regulators, those um, uh, cytokinins, uh, those endobacteric acid type products that basically are hormones that the plant produces itself. And what they do is they build better root systems and they provide some stress mitigation. In 2012, some of the research that that I saw, um, the growth regulators were fabulous in helping us to mitigate stress and produce more yields, in some cases up to 20 bushels more. So I know at Landis you can talk to uh, your account leads, and I don't want this to be a commercial, but as an agronomist, I mean, I've got to tell you that I do believe that if we come into a dry weather pattern, I would look at a product that we have available, growth regular, called Radiate. And I, you can spray at V5 to V7, would be excellent. Put it in with your post-emergence um, herbicide in the next two weeks, and um, it would help to strengthen the root systems. These plants are off to a great start, so uh, let's help them out here, guys. So we're in V3 corn, some V4. Trees have been holding really well last six weeks. Um, obviously still looks very good here um, at the Farnhamville uh, research plot, uh, re research trials over in uh, north central Iowa. So is there anything you can do or add in uh, to that post application uh, herbicide program to help us mitigate stress? You tell me if it's gonna rain again and I can tell you uh, the value of some of these products. Uh, definitely, I think Radiate, we mentioned before, build strong root systems, definitely would be helpful in a year like this year. And there's another product we've seen good research results with called Takeoff that actually just helps this plant um, uh, assimilate carbon, um, uh, helps uh, in the assimilation uh, of uh, nutrients like nitrogen, uh, 
and it's almost like it signals um, uh, the molecule of the plant itself uh, to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and kick it in. Uh, I'm not going to say it's uh, the steroid, steroid uh, example for corn. Um, I know as a 66 year old sometimes I get a shot in my left knee so that I can go and spend all this time out walking fields because I love this time of the year. I love the growing season uh, uh, to do that. Um, not going to say that with this uh, with this corn but uh, it's a product that we've seen and had some good success with. So. Um, you guys can decide what you want to do. If I thought it was going to be dry uh, and have a, a dry year, especially uh, uh, heading uh, like a 2012, um, I would do something now. We staged the corn, V3, V4. Um, we've talked about uh, the fact that getting kind of dry. Forecast is saying more of the same. Uh, 90s next week. Um, not talking about a lot of rain in the forecast for May and June. Is this going to be one of those years where it's the fortunate uh, people that uh, get the timely rains that, that benefit? Could be. All I know is the products that we mentioned, both radiate and take off, help to mitigate stress. And sometimes mitigating stress is buying you time, buying you that last week, that extra seven days to get the timely rains versus the individual that didn't do that and his corn shut down uh, early. Um, for those of you who apply these products and get those timely rains, you will be thanking us uh, this fall. With that, Dan Bjorklund, Lannis Agronomist, signing off.